Now, we are well into awards season and coming up this month are the BAFTAs. Focus may be on blockbuster live action hits, but several other categories will highlight the remarkable work by a number of filmmakers producing something wholly different. Now, one of those is the director, Samantha Moore. Becky Cottrell caught up with the nominee about her unique new animation. This is little Katie. She made this little creature um, <laughs> herself wearing... Katie Johnson loved knitting. It was her way of coping when times got tough. When she was at the hospital having her chemotherapy treatment, she couldn't knit because you can't move your elbows out because you've got things in your arm. <clears throat> and so she ended up doing crochet. And in fact, cr crocheted little squares, which eventually she made into a cardigan, which she called her chemo cardigan. Katie died in 2022. But her voice has been given life in this animated documentary where Katie appears as a knitted mouse. This is her speaking. I mean, I have terminal cancer and I am not, not really on the ball sometimes and my energy levels are really low. So this is Kate. This Samantha is Moore is the film's creator and director. She spent three years interviewing passionate knitters like Katie, telling their stories on screen as animated woolly animals. I started taking the bus out to different libraries and community centres in Shropshire and just chatting to older people about their knitting and why they knitted. And I just uncovered all these amazing stories, you know, all these really incredible stories from all these incredible people who are sort of almost invisible, you know. As an animator and knitter herself, Samantha has combined her talents in making this film called Visible Mending. The handmade characters were brought to life using stop-motion animation, a kind of flipbook technique where the puppets are manipulated and then photographed to appear as though they're moving. The documentary has been nominated for a BAFTA. It was inspired by Samantha's own experience when her mother developed dementia and lost the ability to follow a knitting pattern. And I just, you know, obviously was really sad about that and I started watching YouTube videos so I could teach myself how to knit. Um, but also realising through the knitting process myself, learning how to do it, I realised the solace in knitting, that actually it kind of calms you and it gives you something. It's a way of processing. And she found she wasn't alone in this feeling. Looking at the therapeutic benefits of knitting... It's not the stories in the film show how the hobby can help people struggling with anxiety, injury and, of course, terminal illness. Katie's husband, Pete, also provides the commentary for a version of the documentary for visually impaired people. In it, he speaks directly to the characters, including his own wife. The, the scene is that little Katie Mouse is in the frame on her own and she has a hole in her side. And I have to say, oh, Kate Mouse, you've got a hole in your side. Are you going to mend that? And then another line is, Kate, your mens are so beautiful. You have so many now. It took Pete several attempts to record that line for the animation. Sadly, Katie never got to see the documentary, but for her husband, the film means he'll always have a piece of her. To have it now and to think, yes, she's there now, but in a permanent embodiment, if you want to say that, um, that's amazing. Oh, I've unraveled a lot over the years. <laughs> Becky Cottrell, Sky News, Shropshire. Now, oh, Jackie is Sweet, here with us. It's very touching.